Yo guys, this is a Claudio Motion Designer from Brussels, Belgium. Welcome to another useless tutorial of After Effects. No, just kidding. It's not useless. I hope it will be. There will be a lot of people who will find this interesting. Today we are talking about CSV files, which are Excel files that you can import into After Effects and exploit them. You can you can really do a lot of things. You can put in the Excel file. Uh, text, uh, you can put numbers that you can then reuse inside After Effects and you can link uh, your labels, your your, your shapes uh, to, to the values into the CSV file. So we can do a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create the CSV file, how to import it, how it's, it's structured inside After Effects, uh, what's better to do, what's not better. And then uh, I will show you some examples uh, on how to use them. So let's see in After Effects how it works. First of all, let's see what is a CSV file. So I have prepared three examples that we will use throughout the tutorial. So let's start with this one. Uh, let me open it just to show you how it looks. I'm using OpenOffice, uh, which is a free uh, spreadsheet uh, software, but you can use uh, ex you can use Excel, you can use uh, whatever comes with with Mac, or you can use uh, also uh, the Google spreadsheet. Uh, it's pretty easy. You go to docs.google.com slash spreadsheets, and you have a spreadsheet like that you can create, and then you can just export, uh, uh, download, uh, as a CSV file, but I'm going to use OpenOffice now. Uh, so you see, a spreadsheet you have, uh, you can put uh, in the first uh, row. I have put here the the, the titles of, of the data that I want to use. In this case, I have a title, I have a data, I have a value one, value two, and then I have a description, and this is what what we have. We Normally, when you save a file in, in a spreadsheet, it will be saved in a specific format, but you need to save it as a CSV file, which is a comma separated file. Uh, so you go to do save as, and then, yes, you have to choose a text CSV file here, and it will be saved in the correct format. Uh, I'm not going to replace it because it's good like that. As uh, just for you to understand better, it's pretty easy to see the content also of understanding the content of a CSV file because if you open it with the with the text editor, for instance, uh, you see that it's just uh, the same uh, uh, value separated by a comma, and uh, and that's it. It's nothing, nothing, nothing special, not nothing, nothing difficult. So. Um, now let's see uh, what we have here. So to import them in After Effects, what do we have to do? It's really easy. So first of all, we need to go to After Effects and create a new new project, and then uh, you just drag and drop them into your project panel here. So let's start uh, with the. Uh, this one with the not so good one. The not so good one is just the same data as before, but I have put the values here on the first column as the name of the variables, and then here is the value. We, I'm going to show you why it's not so good idea, even if at the end of the day it's almost the same thing. Uh, so let me close this. So let's drag and drop it into the project panel here. And now we have our CSV imported in After Effects. So what can we do? But we need to create a composition. So uh, let's drag the file here over this icon here to create the composition automatically. And now we have we have nothing, of course, because this is just a, a file that we are that we have into the composition that we can refer to. But at the end of the day, there's nothing that we can visualize uh, out of the box. But we can expand this uh, CSV file here, and we see that we have a first uh, group data. We have number of rows. This is can be useful sometimes. Uh, let me open back, sorry, um, this file. So you see number of rows is uh, five, because it considers that the first 
the first row is is the is the the title so you have a five minus one is four rows that is already a first uh, a first reason for which you should put the values in the other way uh, and then you have you see it considers title and hello guys as labels for the data which is not what we what we want so first thing to understand is that this is not so good format to use so now let me get back to the pretty good instead and we are dragging into the project panel so this is important as well we can now drag it over here in the composition that we have already created no need to create another one so if we compare the two you see that we have now number of rows one and it's one because uh, the uh, pretty code instead is here because we have one row with, with the data so that's correct so far and then we have uh, the title, we have uh, the date, we have the value 1, we have the value 2, and then we have the description. You see that uh, uh, After Effects is interpreting pretty well the values here, it's 45 and 58. Uh, but, and you can also actually uh, drag and drop them over here. But if you do like something like this, you see that it's not really what you want because it's creating a, um, a guide layer with a, a text inside with an expression saying that it has to write value zero uh, colon and then the real value. And it's a pretty long expression here that you really don't want to use normally so I'm gonna tell you what I do uh, to, to, to put a text in here that reflects the content of the Excel file so first of all let's get rid of this not so good CSV file because we don't like it and we don't want it let's get rid of this value one guide layer which we don't need it uh, then uh, let's use this, uh, this one let's say that we want to use uh, uh, this uh, the title which in the uh, Excel file the title should be welcome everybody exclamation point and we want to put a label in here with this so let me show you if you open this uh, title zero you see that there is an expression which refers to the uh, footage which is listed here in the project panel okay so um, if you just copy this uh, expression which is very small you don't need to know it by uh, you, you don't need to remember this but you just just copy it for the moment and you see that it refers to the value zero zero uh, zero uh, is the, the first row uh, i mean this is the column and this is the the, the row and it refers to the in, in, in it's using JavaScript so arrays in JavaScript start from zero so this refers to the first row first column and it refers to the value which is not the title in the first row so it is referring actually to this this place here so when you write zero zero into after Effects, it refers to the first column, first row of the data, which is this one. Okay, so if you just copy this, uh, Ctrl C or com Command C if you're using a Mac, what you can do now is to create a, a text. So just click here, you have an empty text layer, and then you go into the text and the source text then you alt or command click on the stopwatch here to add an expression and you do and you, then you control or command v to copy the um, expression that you have copied from the from the csv and then you go out and you see that bam wonderful you have your label coming from from uh, from excel um, same thing you can do with uh, all the other values uh, now i'm gonna go 
I don't I don't want to, to, to repeat it because it's not it's not really useful. But from this you can you can do really whatever you like. You can uh, uh, for instance uh, you can animate this uh, more let's put a small animation on the scale from zero to hero, not to one hundred percent. So let's press F9 to have some easy ease and then about yeah somewhere here we put 100 and this is animated here so you can do i mean this is just an example to to tell you that the value will change uh, if we go back now to the excel file to the csv file sorry and we change this uh, this row or we can also write another one hello there and then we put uh, I don't know October 25th and then we put a 1 and 100 second row okay and then let's say that we want to uh, use this uh, second line here so what you gotta do is to let's first save Keep current format, okay, CSV, this is from OpenOffice. We go back to After Effects and it says that uh, there's a warning saying that the structure of the data file for the, <coughs> sorry, for the layer has changed. The undo stack has been purged. Okay, not an issue. We now know that if we open this, now we have a title zero, title one, which are the, the two values that we have in there. And if you go to the text layer, and we go back to uh, with the UU on the keyboard to show the uh, expressions, and then we write the 0, 1 instead, that means that we are taking the second value of the first column, and you see that we have hello there, which is what we have changed. You can also change the value of the hello there. Now we have hello there, and you go to the CSV file, and instead of hello there, you write hello there uh, too. Okay, easy. And then we save. And then we go back to After Effects, and you see that it's automatically updated for, for us. So it's very easy to use... Um, to use Excel files, you can pilot uh, whatever you you like with uh, with this. You can also create. Uh, uh, you can use the the, the, the numerical values uh, for for to pilot uh, shapes shapes layers, for instance. So let's create uh, a shape layer, whatever uh, square. It's gonna be okay. Well, let's put some field blue because I like it and uh, well, okay let's see like that we have this new shape layer we have the contents re rectangle one and we have in the rectangle path we have size and position okay let's say that we want to pilot the size of uh, the of the um, of, uh, of the rectangle with the, the values that we have uh, in this uh, file, let's so with value one and value two. Let's say that these are the two values that we want to use to uh, pilot the 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 the, 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 the size of uh, of the of our shape. So it's easy because let, let, let's try to calculate it from here. So this is the uh, co column uh, zero one. 2 and 3. So we have to, to take a column 2 and column 3 to pilot the two dimensions of the rectangle. And we're going to take the first line. So let's click on Alt uh, Size here to create uh, the expression. And what we're going to do, let's take this expression here and copy it in here. But we don't want this is referring to 0, 1, which means the first column second row we need instead the mm, third column and let's say the first row so it will be uh, two zero and three zero yes 
So let's write two zero and this will be the x dimension and then we're gonna copy and paste the y and let's write three zero here and then what we're gonna do is we need to send back an array bidimensional because the size is bidimensional and we're gonna send back x and y like that and you see that does an error y is not defined sorry I need a semicolon here and that's perfect so you see that we have now the shape that we wanted so what happened now what happens now if we change the values in here let's say instead of 45 we want to say 100 and we're gonna save it and then we say after effects and ta-da voila the shape changes so pretty powerful huh so when can we use this normally we can use this uh, if we want to um, uh, do things uh, uh, automatically for people who does not uh, know well after effects so we can prepare maybe some templates uh, to to do with some very nice uh, animation which are linked to the uh, Excel file and getting data from labels and values from there so that uh, we uh, we can tell our colleagues just go to the Excel file modify those data there and then you can just render push the render button in After Effects with the new uh, composition that the new video will be rendered with the correct data so this is what 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 can be done uh, normally I use a lot of uh, CSV data for instance you know that I am uh, the creator of Barba chart which is a dynamic uh, bar chart um, uh, race script uh, with which you can create a bar chart races and donut chart races and line chart races uh, in After Effects with just one single click and everything is piloted by by a CSV file so all the data uh, the series the data series are in CSV file which are imported into After Effects and then they are uh, used by by the algorithm to create the chart trace script have a look at barbachart.com if you are uh, interested in that so i hope that uh, uh, I have been pretty clear, but if you have any question, just uh, shoot them, shoot them in the in the comments below. I will try to answer in the next uh, videos. If you want to see more videos like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It's very important for me and for you maybe as well. If you want to learn something uh, new, and I hope to see you soon. So have a look at the other videos uh, which I have uh, putting. I'm putting here because there's a series of tutorials that you may find interesting. So thank you very much and see you soon.